Welcome. This video is for those of you who use Google to manage teacher accounts and data. We've added a way for you to sync data between Google and the Smart Admin Portal in order to auto-provision those teachers to access your school's subscription to Smart Learning Suite software. So let's take a look at how to do that now. So you can see that I have a subscription to Smart Learning Suite here, and I'm just going to click on Manage Users, and then I'll choose Add Users. Uh, to bring up the option to sync data with Google. A couple of things to note before we begin. First, once you add users from Google, that data will be synced, so it means any users that you had in here previously will be erased, so just be aware of that. Um, and then secondly, the way that you're going to be adding users is using Google Groups. So in order to be able to do this, you're just going to need to have a Google Group admin account with read permissions for groups. So if you have that, then this is the option for you. You can go ahead and click on Google. And once this loads, you'll see we have two different options here. So this first option, Google Classroom's default teacher group, just pulls in all of the teachers that you have using Google Classroom and adds them to a group. So if you type in your domain here, uh, you'd be able to do that without having to set up a group on your own. But if you have actually set up your own custom group of people that you want to provision, then you could choose this section, second option and just enter the email address of the Google group that you've created. So let's say I have teachers at woodbineschool.org. So now I'm going to click Authorize via Google, and the Google sign-in dialog will appear. So now you'll be asked to sign in through Google, and you can do that using your Google Group admin credentials. So now you might have to wait up to 24 hours to see the results of the sync, which happens once a day. But once the sync is complete, all your teachers will show up here. They're now all provisioned to use smart software. And the options to add or remove users here in the portal are now disabled because you can manage everything on the Google end. So any changes you make to the Google groups will happen here in the portal, and those users will be provisioned to access smart software. So that's our latest update for the Smart Admin Portal. If you'd like to see more updates like this, be sure to subscribe to the Smart Support YouTube channel and keep an eye on the Smart Admin Portal new features playlist. Thanks for watching.